Hello everyone, welcome to our new vlog of Illinois Technologies. In this vlog, we will discuss about infrastructure vulnerability assessment and penetration testing steps. The content of this vlog is already present on our website blogs.illinois Please check out this vlog link is present in, in this video description. This vlog is focuses only on the theoretical part. The point is to highlight here is like how penetration tester performs a uh, uh, particular penetration testing on any project related to infrastructure web application or any what are the standard step basically a penetration tester will follow or ethical hacker will follow or i can say malaysia user also malicious hacker can follow that one to perform such steps while performing such steps they that steps can help you to re, uh, to help you to basically find out the loopholes to find out achieve your goal basically in the particular pen test okay let's start with our new blog and the topic is like how to perform infrastructure vulnerability assessment and penetration testing in which we are will explain how to perform infra vapt in theoretically so as you are already seeing my screen this is our blog so you can also check out this from our website so in this vlog we are explaining some important step basically how to perform infrastructure vulnerability assessment and penetration test there are some uh, are some steps which are required to follow while performing infrastructure vulnerability assessment and penetration testing yes there are some important steps which i am saying for the step is the planning and preparation phase first step second is the information gathering and analysis phase third is the vulnerability detection phase fourth one is the penetration testing phase and fifth and last one is the reporting and cleanup phase so let's jump into the first step what is planning and preparation related to infrastructure penetration testing or vulnerability assessment and penetration testing basically or that is not an infrastructure related focusing but it's the standard any any if suppose any pen test has been assigned to you you how you have to follow the steps the steps are there as a part of planning the pen testing team must decide what amount of access is necessary what kind of testing environment is needed how to access it and other factors as a part of this system suppose as a you are the new pen tester you don't know about how the particular pen test has been performed so this will help you like suppose there is a one test has been assigned to you so you have to ask to the your client or you have to ask your um, owner of that particular application like what are the different types of roles are present on that particular application and you need to ask to client that could you please provide us the list of user roles and according to user roles you need to provide the credential while performing pen test because the reason is when the, you will ask that one and you will perform pen test all the credential all the different type of role will cover all the functionalities of the application basically what type of testing environment is needed is basically Basically, if the client will say no, we will provide for production environment. That is very hard to perform pen all full fledged pen test because in a production environment there are so many obstacles. Like you can't perform any malicious operations or you can't add any uh, malicious scripts are there. You can't add any SQL injection related script because that will affect the production environment or that may be chance the application will slow down or that whatever the payload you are inserting maybe other people can see and that will go not good for the image of the company so next question is how to access it like there are uh, different different ways to access like suppose if your client is uh, using vpn that application is hosted in somewhere in uh, testing environment which is required a uh, vpn through vpn only the application access so you need to ask to your client like can you provide us such access or vpn create account for vpn so we can access that particular application or can you provide us public access on that and they are or they maybe there is there is a one chance also like client will create your credentials on their environment and give you access to access through the cyber arc to the basically different platforms are there so through that you have to reach out the application some other factor or as a part of this stage are there important when you start doing the things you will learn but i am just giving an example after planning phase is completed then the application or infrastructure owner and their team needs to start working on the 
assessment requirement so whatever the our requirement we already explained them that blah blah this 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 things we required okay now the team has to start working on that and before the start date of before our, like uh, prior to start date they have to share all the details like application url or ip addresses or that and they have to provide us like access whatever the access is required to access that target ip or application also they have to explain it what are the steps we need to follow to reach out the target ip or infrastructure so assessment requirement to fulfill because if we are these requirement is not fulfilled before the start of the pen test then it will be delay your pen test start date and time of that and time efficiency execution also important while performing the particular assessment the pen tester ex ex in this particular situation now when the pen tester uh, think like a attacker like pen tester act like a attacker and attempt to find out the vulnerability and exploit that vulnerability within the scope so border uh, particular uh, granted by the engagement rule so you need to think like a attacker or pen, pen tester basically pen tester need to think like a attacker and try to find out loopholes or vulnerability present on the application infrastructure ip address and and try to gather as much as loopholes as you possible on information of the weak points okay so one and i want to add one point here which i forget to add like test environment like try to ask the team like to provide some uh basically a testing environment like a uat or test environment pre environment in which you can perform full flash pen test and no there is no obstacle or no one will stop you to do any type of malicious activity or offensive side of testing okay what is the next phase is the information gathering and analysis phase as a part of information gathering and analysis as the name is suggesting analysis phase the penetration tester start gathering as much as information about in scope target infrastructure and the application so in this particular phase the penetration tester or the ethical hacker try to gather as much as information of the application infrastructure and write it down in somewhere their notes or somewhere that will helpful in future also to understand the complete infrastructure to understand about the application to try to gather further information from that information like attack vectors this will very important phase and through this one you will able to understand your target more so below mention are few tools which will very common uh, maybe you knows or you maybe don't know if you are new so th these tools will help you to gather like a net discovery is try to find out the live ip address on the same inv infrastructure or basically in the environment network and map is the information gathering tool and map walk is also uh, sorry snmp walk is also one tool which you use for snmp information gathering related and all like that phase so next phase is the vulnerability detection phase so in this particular phase the penetration tester try to gather the vulnerabilities try to gather the information with or loophole which is present on this application or infrastructure as a part of vulnerability detection phase the penetration tester use a multiple tools and technique to find out loopholes or vulnerability which are present on infrastructure and application and these tools like you can use as already mentioned nessus and mapnik to wireshark so these are the common tools which will help you to sometimes like nmap also there's a some is nmap scripts are there uh, which will help you to find out the loopholes or vulnerabilities is vulnerable or not nessus also nessus is a very good scanning tool which will find out the multiple vulnerabilities present on an infrastructure application and you can use wireshark also will help you like to gather like this application you are able to intercept the traffic is uh, going in a plane text or a uh, encrypted way like that nikto is used for application related web application related scanning purpose and try to find out the information or vulnerabilities so now next phase is the penetration testing phase is the main phase as a part of penetration testing phase the penetration tester start attacking like attack on a in scope target infrastructure and application basically so what will happen in this phase all the information which we gather all the loopholes which we gather now that will be time to jump into the attacking phase or it will the penetration tester will try to attack on the application as a attacker okay and try to exploit that vulnerability which we already found in the previous step 
okay so similarly these tools are also used in that like metasploit also use and map also use i told you the scripts are there as an mp walk also you to exploit the thing like that next and final phase is reporting phase after this completed and uh, all the screenshot you had taken all the pocs you had taken proof of concept and all the things which you have completed your testing phase as per the sla like as per the time duration now it's time to create a report okay so in reporting and cleaning phase what will happen as a part of reporting and cleanup phase the penetration tester create a report so penetration tester need to create a good report in uh, such a way that any technical non-technical person can also understand about vulnerabilities easily a penetration tester need to write a report a such a way that anyone who is non-technical also can read that and understand what is this particular vulnerability because sometimes management's people are don't know technically so they that report will help to understand them what what are the loopholes or vulnerabilities are or uh, exploit can be possible in their infrastructure or application the so same is written here like a vulnerability and developer and infrastructure team can fix that issue basically after re uh, reach the report to them they have to fix that vulnerability is an issue whatever we have found during the testing the cleanup phase now the last and final phase in the before that we are sending the cleanup phase will be for uh, after completion of penetration testing in which all the testing tools the malicious testing files payload license etc which we are used during the penetration testing will remove completely from their infrastructure we need to remove every everything before we are delivering the report and find clean up everything credential files whatever we have done that should be clean up from their environment and we have to provide as a similarly as we got from the starting way okay so i think this block is uh, really help you to like quickly understand so uh, basically what are the steps are there and how we can follow in the penetration testing and that will we we are also following the next next blog upcoming blogs so quickly we are end up this blog uh, as i already told you this is not a big blog so thanks for watching our vlog please contact us for a vulnerability assessment and penetration testing services and protect your business from cyber attacks please like share our videos and subscribe our youtube channel and this will really support our team to create good content and spread cyber awareness thanks thanks for your time thanks for your patience